guys, I wanted to make a video on setting up the Onyx controller, or I guess optimizing it. So uh, the first thing you need to know is that the Onyx controller, at least mine, came with a Bluetooth dongle, which allows you to communicate with your controller without having to hardwire in. Um, I didn't have an Android device, so I had to purchase one. I purchased a Motorola Moto E, essentially a, a phone, an Android phone. I didn't put a SIM card in it. I purely am using it to connect through Bluetooth. So once you do that, you'll want to go and go to the Kelly website. I think uh, the owner's manual will have a link to it. And you want to download a, a free piece of software called AC Aduser, A-D-U-S-E-R, for Android. Download it, put it on your phone. Okay guys, once you get the app downloaded, you're gonna to want to turn on your Onyx, which will turn on the Bluetooth. Then the very first thing you need to do is, is pair your Bluetooth device. So I just turned it off. Let me go into my settings. Connect, connected devices, Bluetooth. All right, there it is. I've already paired it, so I don't need to, but you're gonna to wanna to hit pair new device. It's gonna pop it up and ask for a password. The password is one, two, three, four and then wait for it to pair. Once paired, you can back out, and now you can go into the app. App opens horizontally. Click through your warning, or read it. Bluetooth is how you're selecting, connecting to, hit yes. Give it a second. Okay, so page is open, we're not connected though. We need to hit OP down here, bottom left. You wanna select that long number. And now if you can see it says connected. You now need to go over to the right and hit the R, which I assume stands for read. This is where we're gonna get into your settings. There's a bunch of settings in here, guys. Um, I'm just kind of focused today on battery, current, and motor current, which they call current percentage. That's for the motor, current limits for the battery. When you, your Onyx, at least mine was set up for current percentage 60 and battery current, um, I think it was around 55. And I just started playing with it. Um, when you actually go into the, uh, went to the next page there. If you actually go into AC monitor, that's where, patience, all right, so there I am. This is where you're actually reading live PIDs. So I would mount this on my bike and and start riding it under load. And what I found was going 50, 55 down a empty street wasn't putting uh, much heat uh, on on either the motor or the controller. So right there, that's, that's temperature in Celsius. And that's what you wanna pay the most attention to. Uh, the motor has magnets that are rated 50H. And what that means is they can get up to 150 degrees Celsius before they'll start to melt. The controller, um, I believe it can get up to 100 degrees Celsius before it will fry. Actually, it doesn't fry, it puts you into a limp mode. And so there are settings you can set for that to, you can change them if you want. And, and that's the game really. Once you play around with your setting, you wanna go into this read mode and start looking at your, your temps as you're riding. Glance down and see how hot you're going. Go up a steep mountain if you can, otherwise just, just motor it. And the more you turn up the, your percentage of battery or motor, you're gonna notice immediately more acceleration, higher top speed. Uh, for me, I'm 215 pounds, and, and I was getting about 52 miles, 53 miles. Um, my new settings, now I'm up to 58. Uh, and I can't, if, you, if I go back here and go into calibration, you'll notice I'm not 100%, 100%. I can't get up that high without it cutting out under load. And I think that's because of my aftermarket battery. Um, when I had it built, I have 150 BMS protection on it. And so I think when I'm throwing 150 amps at the controller, it's, it's the controller saying no way. But anyway, this, these are the numbers I got to, and I'm pretty sure I was able to do it on the original Onyx battery too. All right, I wanted to add that in the Kelly settings, there is a safety temp, so it preset to 120 degrees Celsius, 
When it senses that, that temperature from your motor, it will go into a limp mode until it reaches another temp. I don't know if it's like 90 or 100, but it's a setting that you can change where it'll take you back out. Um, as I was going up a, a, a five mile steep grade, I noticed I was generating the most heat. And by the end of it, I was getting up to 117 degrees Celsius, uh, which was a little concerning. So through research, I found out there's a company that makes called HubSync that makes these fins that you can mount to the outside of your motor, which is good for drawing away heat from the outside of the motor. Uh, unfortunately, the motor contains most of its heat in the center where the windings are at the stator. And so if you really want to do it right, you need to add a ferro fluid, which is a heat transfer fluid. Uh, the, the big company I believe is called Stator Aid. And you can then insert it you only need between four and eight milliliters depending on your motor i ended up using eight if you use too much uh, you can cause excessive drag so you lose performance but uh, there's two different ways of, of of applying it one you can take apart the shell of your motor but it's sealed um, to make it water resistant which is a good thing but bad for for heat you know transfer or the other way you can do it. Hey, keep it down there. Trying to give an instructional video. Is, oh no, oh man, oh, oh the dogs. Uh, what, what I did ended up doing is drilling a little hole there. Let's see if you can see it. You can see the patch. That's a Gore-Tex patch I got online, just an adhesive patch to make sure no fluid gets out. Um, the fluid always is going to rest at the bottom and then when you're riding centrifugal force will pull it to the outside Which is where the magnets are. That's where you really want to keep the temp down ideally And by by drawing the heat away from the stator to the outside of the motor You're now allowing those fins on the outside to be the most effective um, What I noticed through my my test was it's not so much that it I would say temperature raises slower but the biggest effect is is when you're off throttle it cools down way faster so with real daily driving you're on off throttle overall you're keeping your motor just much cooler i do recommend it it doesn't look super cool but i don't think people really notice uh that's it if you have questions on how to do it i can make another video mm -hmm.